New York, 1939. Not even the closing days of the Great Depression have slowed the life or dimmed the spirit of this great metropolis, where eight million stories filled with hopes and dreams fight to be heard above the pounding of the big city's heart. Unfortunately, we don't have time for eight million stories, but we would like to tell you one little story about a romantic, hard-working New Yorker, an independent girl who wants nothing more than to put her feet up and marry a handsome millionaire. Her name, Betty Boop. Just give them your boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you sure to throw for a loop. When you're out of luck, well, just fuck her up. I'm giving them your boop, 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 boop. Just give them your boop, 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 boop. And you sure to throw for a loop. When you're out of luck, well, just fuck her up. I'm giving them your boop, 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 boop. boop. Such a sweetheart. What should I do like this? She's such a delightful child. Such a nice girl. Ach, pay me when you can. Buy me a Mr. Shane. Buy me, Betty. You are all right. Buy me a Mr. Shane. Let me explain. Buy me a Mr. Hey, Shane. Hey, that's Mr. my kind of girl. She's aces in my book. Wow, what a girl. She's such a princess. I can't say a single rotten thing about her. But I'd love to. I'd love to. Ah, it's Betty. Hello, Betty. Hello, cutie. Polly wants a cracker. Ah! Oh, I gotta get out of these shoes first. to fear, but fear itself and losing both your jaws. Ah! Oh, thanks, Polly. You're a barrel of laughs. Oh, life sure ain't very glamorous sometimes. A girl gets lonesome reaching for the stars all by herself. Oh, Mr. Van Lavish, I know we'd be good for each other. With your money and my moxie, there's nothing we couldn't do. I can see the headlines now. Betty Boop meets Eleanor Roosevelt to discuss rights for women's shoe clerks. Betty Boop is known to the upper crust as Mrs. Waldo Van Lavish. Oh, I guess I'm just dreaming. Eyes! I have eyes! Ice Man! Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright Cause I only have ice for you, Betty I can use a chunk, Freddy Your wish is my thrill
I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed delivering it. Betty? Oh, Freddy. May I take you out to a movie on your day off? Afterwards, we can take a refreshing ride on the ferry. I won't keep you out late. I have a law school class at midnight. Law school? Law school? Ah! Quiet, Polly. Look, you're a nice boy, Freddy, but I'm really looking for a man of culture and wealth. He'll be darn lucky to get you, Betty. Yes, he will. I might even make him president after I achieve personal greatness, naturally. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to get to work this evening. Of course. Forgive me for detaining you, and thank you for taking my ice. Phew. Oh, Waldo. Oh, Betty. You are here, so am I. So am I, so am I. Maybe millions of people go by. Millions of people. But they, they all disappear from view. And I only have eyes Cry for you, lie for you, walk that one last mile for you, oh baby, you're the cause of it all. You make me play the fool, then you treat me mean and cruel, oh baby, you're the cause of it all. Good evening, welcome to Club Bubble. I'm Bubble. <laughs> nice to see you. Okay. Don't say hello. Make yourselves at home. Nice travel. Uh, just how large is this show? How large? <laughs> it's giant, enormous, super collect. Lady, it's got a cast of uh, thou, hundred. Listen, who's counting? Hello. Good evening. Bonsoir. Right for you, fly for you, walk that one last mile for you, old baby. Betty, celebration! It's such a fantastic crowd tonight. <laughs> they all come to see you in big show, so give great performance. Enough money to pay back wages. Don't worry, Uncle Misha Bubbles. Me and the rest of the girls will dance our hearts out for you. You want the rest of girls? There are no more rest. Everybody quit. You got to do show yourself, Betty. Huh? And now is entrance music, Betty. Oh, but the folks are expecting a chorus. I can give you anything but love, sweet baby. That's the only thing I'm ready of. Oh, baby, dream a while, scheme a while, you're sure to find. Oh, you have to Close the door. You I don't see their show going on? Johnny Throat. <laughs> Mr. Throat wants the moolah, you owe him Russian. But since you obviously don't got any, <laughs> he's gonna make you pay some other way. Grab the bum, Punchy! <laughs> Please, Mr. Throat, you really don't want to rubbing Misha out for a couple of measly dollars, do you? <laughs> A couple of guys didn't want to pay the ten bucks they owed me. <laughs> but I ignored it and got my money and their necks. If I didn't let those guys off the hook, what makes you think I'm gonna let you stick me, huh? <laughs> Let's 
<laughs> Mr. Throat says maybe you won't have to put your lights out after all on account of because there's something about your club he likes. <laughs> something he likes a lot. Mr. Throat says maybe we can come to an arrangement. Like, for instance, this club will have a new owner, and you, Russian, will retain the use of your face. <laughs> Never guess who just came into the club. I don't care. I got three more shows to do, and I'm too poop to boot. It's your dream about yourself so crazy about is here, Waldo Van Lavitt. <gasps> Waldo? See? Having fun. <laughs> boring. Trey's boring. Oh, Waldo Van Lavish and his debutante dress? Oh, tell the piano man I want to do my solo now. Hurry! Oh, it must be destiny. Oh, Waldo, how I've dreamed of this moment. Ladies and gents, Club Bubbles proud to present our lovely star, the bewitching Miss Betty Boo. A moment, Tracy. This looks interesting. suppose you'd like to go out with me tomorrow, would you? Just for a lark. <laughs> you don't suppose? Are you nuts? Yes, 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 my Waldo. Fine. I'll see you at your place around noonish. Don't be late. I'm terribly impatient with common people. <laughs> oh, real life is so much better than the movies. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Let me go, you weasel. Put me down, you crumb bum. Your ex-boss wants to talk to you, toots. <laughs> Listen good. Uncle Misha Bubbles, what's wrong? Uh, the new owner of my club, Mr. Throat, he says you want you should keep your job, uh, then you must go out with him for late supper. It's terrible, terrible. Mr. Throat wants to know what the little lady says. Oh, he does, does he? Yeah. Okay. The little lady says, drop dead. I've got a stock in my purse for you too, Mr. Throat. See, I'm an all-American woman. A Yankee Doodle Dandet. But don't mess with me. I bid you good evening. Don't worry, the boss likes his spunk. <laughs> he says he'll give her a little rope, but when the time comes he wants her, <laughs> then that's it. She works so hard, she's skin and bones. Why couldn't she be my daughter-in-law instead of that funky Frida? It's that millionaire playboy. He's handsomer than his picture in the paper. I'll be right down. Good afternoon, Mrs. Shapiro. What's going on? Poor Freddy. Don't ask. Oh, look at that little angel. Thought the girl looked like a movie star. She's such a delightful child. Oh, what a beautiful couple. Betty, I'm so happy for you. You're a lucky so-and-so, Mr. Van Lavish. 
You've got yourself a wonderful girl. Excuse us. I have no time for underclass chit chat. Have a wonderful time, Betty. Have a good time. Good luck, Betty. All the luck in the world. Eyes. I have eyes. Um, tell me about the market, Waldo. My heart just went up two points. I'm not kidding. I got one share of United Peanut Butter. What should I do? Merge with Consolidated Jelly. <laughs> oh, Waldo, you sound the rule. The word is draw. Wanna bet? Here, take my picture. Waldo Van Lavish, rampant against the tapestry of the city. Make it memorable, darling. Amazing, scenic majesty, breathtaking, etc., um, etc. <coughs> I have an exciting, romantic notion. Oh, romantic? Oh, Waldo. Oh, Waldo. Alone at last. Take her out and some boop. Aye, aye, Skipper. You have a knack for the sea, Betty. <laughs> Everybody says I'm nautical. But not. I say, Betty, oh, you are truly yaw. Oh, thanks, Waldo. What's yaw? A sailing term that means positively lovely. Oh, say it so lower. Betty, I have decided I'd like you to meet my father and mother tonight. Meet your folks? Oh, Waldo. Meet me at the Astor Bar at 8.15, and don't be late, or I'll replace you. Oh, I'll be there. Oh, Waldo, darling. You've made me the happiest boop in the world. Lavish asked you to be his wife? Well, not exactly, but he wants me to meet his folks, and you know what that means, huh? I hope it means what you think it's meaning. <laughs> Go and be happy. Go before Johnny Throat comes back with his no good news. Oh, don't worry, Uncle Misha Bubble. My first act as Mrs. Waldo Van Lavish will be to pay off your debt to those hoodlums. And now, I must fly to meet my future in-laws. Stop! Let her go! <laughs> Mr. Throat decided a little pooperini is all out of rope. <laughs> Betty, what can I do to save you? What? Ah, ice. Hello, Centro. Get me Freddy the Iceman. <laughs> Mr. Throat says, Hiya, sweetheart. Glad you accepted my invitation. <laughs> invitation, my clavicle. Your goons kidnapped me here, you big punk. Those meat hooks, just let me go. I got a date in the after bar in half an hour. <laughs> Nobody turns down Johnny Throw twice, not even Betty Boop. Find her. <laughs> You said Betty was in danger? Hurry! Maybe there's still time to save her. I distinctly said 8.15. One more Sazerac and I shall leave. Oh, Waldo, dearest, here I am. I'm sorry I'm late. It's not the five minutes that bothers me. It's your slovenly appearance. You're a mess. Oh, well, I can't help it. I've been running for my life. Oh, really? From whom? From whom? Let's get him. Mommy, 
Help! I didn't come this far to lose my millionaire to a love-crazed gangster's gunsel. I'll get Uncle Misha to call the cops! Where's Betty? You public enemy! Talk! <laughs> he says his boys tailed her to the Astor Bar to get her and her snob boyfriend, too. I think... We've no time to lose. I want my mummy. Oh, hang on, you cry, baby. After them. Oh, we can't hang around here. But, but I'm afraid of heights. Congratulations! Yeah, I'm a lucky girl. Well, come on, Waldo, honey. Let's go meet the folks. Thanks a million, buddy. You're welcome, Betty. I'm sure. Here she is, Dad. I think you'll agree she'll be just perfect for your new upstairs maid. Oh, thank you, Waldo. I th upstairs maid! Keep your wealth, Waldo. This is one boot who won't stoop for gold. Ice! I have ice! Ice man! Hey, Ice Man! Oh, Freddy, you were Mr. Right all along, and I was Miss Wrong. Betty!